This week, our area lost a small town icon devoted to doing good. Jethro Mann passed away Monday in Lakeland, Florida, but his legacy lives on right here in Belmont. His death will no doubt leave an empty spot in the world, but his life is tonight's good news. Charles Corral and our Kristen Hampton have a story. In the early 1980s, CBS newsman Charles Corralt came to North Carolina to feature a man unknown to most of the world, but a superhero in Belmont. It hurt Jethro Mann to see kids growing up without bikes. See, he grew up without a bike. Our bus uh, let out up the street at about 2.30. It was a race to get here to get the newest bike, the best bike. In his garage, with broken bikes that he repaired, he started a sort of lending library of bicycles. Somebody want to ride this bike? Any kid can have one by just signing it out. Yeah, I can see them in white buildings with blue doors. Today, that garage is gone. Two-wheeled skeletons sit out in a pile, but Courtney Williams remembers what it was. No one was here for you to sign that piece of paper and to put that quarter or 50 cents or dollar in the jar. You did that off of an honor system, and... Um, and that meant something. We try to use this as a learning situation for them. Teach them how to be responsible for something. Teach them that uh, if they'll take care of other people's things, they can't help but take care of their own. And it works out pretty good. Boy, did it ever. It was never about bicycles. Bicycles was the means to sort of show us uh, that uh, with a little bit of hard work and humility, you can be, you know, whatever you want to, whether that's a, a bicycle mechanic or uh, a banker. Courtney is 36 now. He is a banker. Back then, he was just a six-year-old learning about manners. What do you say? He ended up being uh, the father figure for me and, and for a lot of the kids in the neighborhood. Mr. Mann's family told me he passed away Monday peacefully in his sleep. Hopefully he knew his life meant so much more than bicycles. Whatever I do have, I hope it will contribute to somebody else's welfare. In Belmont, with the good news, Kristen Hampton, WBTV, on your side. A life well lived, huh? How great to see him as a six-year-old and right. a successful banker back there saying. To see what's become of it all, right? How many lives do we touch? That's kind of the measure, right, of, of how well our life has been lived. Jethro Mann, by the way, was 96 years old. What a great story. It'll be on WBTV.com mm -hmm. later. You can always email Kristen yep. your ideas for good news. Share that story. Lots of folks should see it.